What's going on guys? I'm making a short video on a uh, grid tie system I just did for my house. It is a uh, Grow Watt, the MIC 3000 TLX, uh, 3000 watt grid tie inverter from Grow Watt. I didn't see a lot of uh, videos on YouTube, hardly any, um, on the Grow Watt for the United States, so I figured I'd make a short video. Uh, this is a great system. Um, to uh, reduce your electric bill. A lot of people are going all in on solar and I don't really recommend that. I just don't see the value, but a grid tie system, uh, inexpensive grid tie system that's fairly easy to install is uh, definitely the way to go for I'd say 90% of the people that want to get into solar. So anyways, uh, this is what I got here. Um, I've got it located right next to my meter here. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I wired it up because there's a little bit of confusion, I guess, with the Grow Watt models um, in the United States. I think you can buy literally all these grid tie inverters. Uh, all of them will work in the United States. You just have to set it uh, for the United States and then it'll, uh, it'll uh, perform how it should. And I think the only other difference is that the United States model uh, requires a ground on the outside. Um, from from the literature that I uh, read, though, I mean, it, the models are the same. Uh, even the literature that I got, the manual that I got with the, uh, the U.S. model from Signature Solar is, you know, the same manual uh, in the European version. So uh, this one already comes set up for the U.S. grid. And I think that's literally the only difference. Um, anyways, uh, so uh, super easy to install. It's just got a bracket on the bottom. Uh, I'm sorry, on the back there. You can see right here, it just fastens to the wall. And then uh, this inverter will sit on that bracket. And then it's got some screws to hold it down. Uh, it's been running for about four months now and no issues. <clears throat> I'll uh, show you on the on my roof there what I got. Um, functioning great, everything. It's a really uh, short and sweet install. Uh, the only thing that I could not get working on the GrowWatt model is the little Wi-Fi dongle that it came with. I tried everything uh, and then some, and still could not get it working. So uh, I ended up getting this uh, Sense from square D, I forget the model number, but I'll post the link. This is uh, way better, in my opinion, um, way better product, but if you guys can figure out the Wi-Fi model uh, module and get the app working, then good for you. But uh, I got a deal on this on eBay and picked it up. It was like brand new, but basically you've got your solar CTs and then you've got your CTs, um, for your mains there uh so you can and the app is you know it very very uh functional app tells you a lot of uh great great uh things to monitor there um so definitely recommend getting that but the grow watt app should do the same thing i just couldn't get it to work so anyways uh this is what i got so you've got uh you've got three wires coming in that power this grid tie inverter and that's gonna be your two hots and a ground. Uh, it is labeled on this connector. I think uh, you can wire it for 120 or 240. So just FYI, uh, 240 is the way to go. And it's gonna be three wires. It's gonna be two hots and a ground. And I've got that coming into a dedicated breaker right here. These uh, other small wires are feeding this uh, monitor right here. And this is how I got it set up. Um, you can do this on the inside, you know, everyone's install is going to be a little bit different. This is um, probably the short and sweet install. I, when I put my meter can in, I have a distribution center below it. So that makes it really easy to just mount it right here. Um, and this is where your electrical uh, company is going to want it. They want it right next to the main disconnect uh, if there was ever you know a need for the fire department to come out they know exactly where it is just less stuff for you to do in the uh, uh, in the install process there um, 
this is the preferred location, but you guys, you know, you'll have to get a permit to install a uh, solar system, unfortunately, but that's how it goes. You know, it's electricity that you could be potentially putting back in the grid and they want to make sure it's installed right. So it makes sense. Um, but for the price, uh, can't go wrong with this grow watt. Really happy with it. I just wanted to make a video because I didn't really see a lot of people installing them and uh, all the research that I did grid tie inverters are the way to go uh, if you want to make your money back in a short amount of time so I've got four uh, Renogy 450 watt bifacial solar panels on the roof and they've been producing pretty good um, ideally you obviously want sun from sun up to sun down but as you can see I'm um, surrounded by a bunch of trees so uh pretty limited on how much sun i get but anyways i you know did the math from the last several months and uh, i should make my money back in about two years so um definitely recommend again grid tie inverters if you're trying to get into solar and i definitely recommend this uh grow watt 3000 watt grid tie inverter and i got it from signature solar so definitely check those guys out if you're looking to get one but uh I'll show you the video of the panels on top and then um, basically you've got your positive and negative DC side. This has a DC switch right here on the inverter itself and these two uh, go up to the panels on the roof. Alright, we're up on the roof. Got uh, the four energy 450 watt by facial panels here. Just showing you how I got them mounted. This is a standing seam metal roof. And I got these clamps that just uh, bolt, you can see there, bolt to the seam part of the roof and it clamps down the solar panel. I got four on each panel. These are pretty large panels and they recommend at least four per panel. And that is the rooftop install here. I'm gonna probably get four more to uh, maximize the three kilowatt uh, grow watt inverter I got. So that's the uh, roof install. And this is, uh, this is um, compliant with all the codes as far as anti-islanding. I did confirm that as soon as I installed it. Um, if you lose power, then this will shut down and uh, not produce any power into uh, back into the grid there so it's one thing you got to make sure um, that when you're installing an inverter like that it has that which most of them do anyways so but as far as uh, functionality you don't need anything else I know there's a lot of inverters out there that require um, different modules up on the roof under the panels um, this is an all-in-one so you just need panels inverter and then wires and obviously uh, everything else, you know, as far as breakers um, and then all your stickers for the uh, permitting process. But that's how you wire it, short and sweet. And then uh, you guys got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. But so far, so good on this inverter, and I highly recommend it. Thanks.